Okay, so good day sa lahat ng mga masters natin dyan. So, ito, yung, ito pa yung kapotol ng video demo ko um, using C Sharp. So, nagka-problema kasi ako doon sa video recorder ko. Kala ko natapos ko yung video. So, yun pala hindi. So, may napotol na part doon na hindi ko na ma-retrieve pa. So, ayan. So, ito po yung record natin, no? So, ayan. So, napasa natin ng data pero hindi pa natin ito na-update. So, wala pa ang record sa update ito. Ayan. So, yung gagawin natin is, paano po natin i-update yung data using C Sharp. So, ito po yung last code natin kung paano natin ipasa yung data from uh, variable na galing sa form 1, tinipasa natin sa form 2. Ito po yung code natin. And then, dito sa form 2, so dito tayo mag-update. Yan. Okay, so on ah. Uh, try and then cut exception x then scene that close so if ever may error during sa execution so i-close nyo yung connection nya mrs box that you then um warning the x that message and then error this is box button that okay this is box icon that warning yeah then dito so copy lang natin yung validation at saka variable declaration na nasa save button so dito natin siya ilagay ayan and then uh, sunod natin gagawin is to so copy na rin natin to mabilisan lang then, ilagay natin dito. Ayan. Then, insert into. So, ito, uh, change natin to na update. Update TBL info. And then, uh, set last name. Uh, txt name that text and then first name so ipasa niya yung data na galing kay txt if name the text then sa middle name ipasa niya yung data galing kay txt m name the text uh, birthday ipasa niya yung data galing kay variable na is date na nakadeclare sa Ito po siya nakadeclare sa, ayan, sa taas. Then, sa gender, so, kukunin niya yung data or ipasa yung data galing kay CBO gender the text. Address galing kay txt address the text. Ayan. And then, kay contact number, ipasa yung data galing kay txt contact that text. And then, where employee number, kung kaninong record yun, may update natin. Like, ayan. And then, erase na po natin to. Ayan po yung step in pattern. So, then pagkatapos, so, record has been successfully updated. Tapos, tawagin niya yung uh, if one that load record, yung galing kay form 1, and then load record na method. And then, this, that, this post. I-close nyo yung form 2. So, 
So, try natin iparamin data. So, example, yung uh, record ko. So, papalitan ko siya ng uh, address. So, gawin ko uh, Surigao City. Tapos, update natin. Record as is has been successfully updated. So, Surigao City na po yung napalit natin. Ayan. So, napalitan na po siya. So, paano naman tayo mag-delete ng record? So, dito sa form 1, sa data grid natin, so, mayroon tayong dalawang button dito. Yung isa is, uh, yung name niya is called edit, at saka yung isa is called delete. So, paano po mag-delete? So, gawa lang tayo dito ng condition, uh, else, if, uh, call name or column name is like call delete. And then, so pag uh, clinic yung natin yung ano, yung button na delete, so i-trigger nyo yung uh, statement uh, dito. So condition tayo if message box that uh, show then are you sure you want to delete this record then titled delete record so, lagyan natin to ng title delete record and then message box button that yes no and then message box icon that question equal uh, dialogue result that uh, yes so pag yes yung click natin sa button either yes or no so i-delete nyo yung record dito sin or execute nyo yung statement under sa condition natin and then cm is uh, mysql command delete from tbl uh, name ng table natin so, nakalimutan ko na yung name ng table uh, table employee ayan table employee delete from table employee and then where yung unique nya is yung id nya so, kukunin natin yung id yeah, student number student number yata yun um student no so tama bang student no no ah uh, student no employee no ah uh, correction this is employee no hindi pala ito student information ah uh, f7 tayo ayan so this is employee no uh, like then yung variable na uh, ginawa natin uh, yung sa taas ah uh, Tingnan natin kung anong variable yan. ID. So, yung ID na ang ginamit natin. TBL ID. Ayan. And then, close connection. Then, cm.execute non query. And then, message box that show. Tapos, record has been successfully deleted deleted records this box button that ok this is box icon that information and then load records so try natin kung i-delete nyo yung record nya. So, nilagay natin ng load records dito para yung um, nag-refresh yung record nya um, sa loob ng ating data grade. So, like for example, ito i-delete pa natin to yung record ko. I'm sure you want to delete this record. Pag yes po natin, so automatic nag-delete yung uh, record natin. Okay? So, yan po yung continuation ng ating uh, video demo kung paano kagawa ng 
um, program using C Sharp kung paano mag-add, mag-update, delete, at saka mag-display ng record dun sa ating data grade. Okay, so thank you.